Hi, my name's Damien. Today I'm going to show you how to do a de-sludge on a primary settlement tank on a basic sewage works. First thing I always do is open the valve very slowly just to trickle the waters out of the pipe until you get to the sludge blanket. As you can see I've already opened this up a couple of minutes ago and it's coming through quite sludgy. So continue to open the valve slowly and allow the sludge to come out and pump up to the sludge holding tank. You want your sludge to be a consistency of porridge. You can see the grains in it, you can see the fibres in it, but yeah, it's still a very nice liquid, easily to transfer. This is coming through quite well today. If it's coming through too thick, a method you can use if it seems like it's blocked is to connect, if you've got a hose pipe available, connect a stiff bit of blue pipe onto your hose pipe and stick it down the breather hole there, switch the hose pipe on and allow some water to circulate into the bottom of the tank which will water fire it up a bit and make it a bit more easier to come out. Right, as you can see that's coming through quite watery now. It's quite difficult to see when our tanks go to water because we have a deep, we have a quite a shallow wet well on the pumping station which pumps up to the sludge holding tank. So you have to guess the consistency. As you can see, that is coming through a lot more watery now. You can just tell by the consistency of the water has gone from thick to thin. Close the valve up slowly so you don't shock the tanks. If you shock the tanks, any sludge that's sat on the walls of the tank will come loose and float to the surface. That can be a bit of a bugger to sink. I will show you that how to do that in the next video. Continue to close the water close the valve slowly so you don't shock the tanks. You want to put a bit of water into your sludge holding tank but if you can't de-water your sludge holding tank then you don't want to put too much water in there. If you haven't got de-watering capabilities on your sludge holding tank then speak to your manager, your bosses to see if you can get some kind of de-watering methods put into your sludge holding tank. This is the best way I've found to de-sludge a primary settlement tank. Many people have many different methods which could be right, could be wrong. Some people just crack the valve right open and let it all flood out. That way you could get rot, rat holing in the bottom of your tank and therefore not de-sludge it properly. There'll still be sludge sat on the walls left to rise up to the surface. In regards to the colour of your sludge, I found the best colour is a sort of sandy brown colour. If it's coming through too black, you're not de-sludging enough, it's septic, you need to de-sludge it more often. Or alternatively, if it's coming through too thick, you could try and de-sludge it more often. But be careful not to add too much sludge to the sludge holding tank, because if you've got plenty of water in there or too much sludge, you're going to be also assisting with tankering costs and having more tankers. So try and find that, fi that fine balance. Like I say, if this has been helpful, then fingers crossed it's been helpful. If not, then just have fun watching the video. Take care. Bye-bye.